Guys, real quick before we start the video, I know I've been slacking on uploads, but uh, I am trying to get back into a routine. Uh, we do have some videos lined up, but real quick, I want to say thank you to Lazy Man Garage. If you guys are not subscribed to him or checked him out, I'll put him down in the description below. Please check out Lazy Man Garage. He supports uh, your boy, so go and support him. He's given me a lot of support. Uh, he also sent me some things, so no, that's not from him. We are going to open them real quick. So this is the first thing he sent. I already opened it. I know what it is. Um, so sweet. So he sent us a spoon shift knob. I don't know what car it's going to go on, but uh, now I can open it all the way. Duracon? Is it a Duracon? But it's pretty light. But thank you, lazy man. Also, Oh, way fucking cool. He sent us some kick-ass... I love his logo. I love his intro, too. Uh, Lazy Man Garage stickers. Guys, please uh, go check out Lazy Man. Pick up some stickers or shirts uh, from him to support him so he can grow his channel also because that's what we're all trying to do is, is grow our channels. Um... I will have merch soon too. I just got everything to uh, open the merch store. I run it myself. I make the shirts. So that's what took me so long. Um, yes. Thank you, Lazy Man Garage. Also, guys, I've gotten a lot of support from uh, Lazy Man Garage, Chris Sadowski, uh, Young Static, Dana. So, guys, please go check them out. Uh, they give me huge shout outs and help me get to. 225 225 so subscribers some people may not think that's not a lot but hey it's a lot to me so please go subscribe to them if you haven't also uh, I want to do a t-shirt giveaway I will put up a picture of the t-shirt right here so to enter the giveaway you have to be subscribed to the channel subscribe to my Instagram which are all on the links down below and comment the dude Wait, wait, let me let me explain something to you. Um, I am not Mr. Lebowski. You're Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude. So that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or, uh, you know, El Duderino, if you're not into the whole brevity thing. Uh, are you employed, sir? In the comments below. I will pick a winner on the, the 30th of this month. And we're going to give away... A shirt, stickers, um, and maybe something else. So, now that I got that out of the way, please enjoy the video, guys. Also, comment, like, subscribe, do all the things. Let's grow the channel. Let's check it out. What is going on everybody? Uh, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shane and this is Junk Air Performance. Uh, if you've seen the last video, I'll put it up here. Um, we went and got the motor out of the EF, so now we need to clean it all up and get it ready to put some mounts in. So it's late in the day um, and it's supposed to snow again, super. Uh, so I want to try and get this all clean, get done with all the water business before it snows. So as you can see, it's all nasty. 
This bay is going to turn out really clean though. Uh, there's no scruffs or anything like that other than what we're going to make. And we're going to clean it all up so we can remove that mount. And uh, get this thing good. Also, I need to take the traction bar out because uh, Jason got an aftermarket one. And I don't want to take it out all dirty. So, let's get to spraying it down and cleaning it. That's all you can want to spray it. Spray it in the bay. In the bay? Yeah. Pull the trigger. All right, guys, we got it all clean, as you can see. Got to clean the hood a little better. Look at that rust spot. But, uh, yeah, that turbo nozzle works really well. You can see you got all that grease out and everything. But So I'm going to spray it down one more time and then call it good. But guys, I was wondering, I've always used Purple Power. That's the only thing I've ever used. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys use. Uh, whether it be Purple Power or Super Clean. I heard Super Clean's really good. Uh, maybe I have to go and uh, buy some and do a comparison test. I don't know. Uh, there's also that stuff from the Dollar Tree, the yellow stuff. Uh, LA Clean or something, I don't know. But um, yeah. Let me know in the comments below what uh, what kind of cleaner you guys use. So we're going to spray it down one more time and uh, then we'll get to cutting. What is going on you guys? Uh, so it's a couple days later and everything is all nice and dry. Look at those shock towers. Look how clean they are. We got a little bit of touch up and we are going to have to clean it one more time after we uh, cut that mount out and put the new mounts in. Get rid of the traction bar. But all in all it looks good I wonder if super clean would have done better than purple power because they still have some grease right there and a few spots but other than that this thing is clean uh, right now I'm gonna try and get the uh, front end off real quick before I have to go and pick up the kiddos
I could only find the largest clamp I had. You gotta squeeze the uh, proportioning valve together so it doesn't come apart because you need to swap this around to bolt it there because it's got to go against the firewall. This isn't going to work. No. <laughs> Don't try and get in a hurry when you're doing this. I stripped it. This is what it looks like. It's a Torx. It's a safety Torx, so you gotta be careful. All right, so here I am, fat ass in the engine bay. Um, we got the brake lines bent over. I still have to correct this one so it's not as bent and we'll bolt it to the firewall once I get uh, the rib nuts. And right now, I'm going to use this fancy dancy spot weld drill bit. This is just from Harbor Freight. These things work really well. Uh, I use this exact one to uh, cut out a rocker panel for my wagon. So I'll set you up and show you how it works. Alright guys, all you're going to do is you see these spot welds right here. There and there, and in there, and over here, right, right, right there. Um, you're gonna take a center punch, that's not very center. but it'll work and then when you take your your bit focus it's supposed to have a point on it but mine doesn't it'll sit it will sit let's just use this as an example it'll sit in where you made the center punch and when you push in it holds it there Cuts out the spot weld perfectly. Don't forget to lubricate it. That's what she said.
Ready? So now that you got them all drilled, they'll look like that. I didn't get those two because I don't think I can get the drill in there, but you got all the others. You take a, well I'm using a screwdriver because that's what I got. So one thing I want to say is, if it doesn't pop, don't force it, because the point of this spot weld drill bit is so you don't dig into the frame rail, and you can go ahead and clean these up with a uh, sandpaper or flap wheel disc or whatever. So since I can't get to this one with the spot weld drill bit, I'm just going to break it off and then grind it smooth. There it is. Look, they don't even paint the back side. So that's what it'll look like. Now I need to go get the flap wheel disc and clean this up. I still gotta clean it up, but uh, that's what it's gonna look like. Kinda, but cleaner. Hell yeah. Alright guys, when you're uh, grinding these welds out, uh, don't force it. Don't try and dig into it. Let the Let the flap disc do the work. Don't uh, don't grind into it. Keep it flat and just take it off. All right. So we got it all cleaned up. Um, I can't get in there with my big old angle grinder or my die grinder, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I think I'm just going to leave that. It's not in the way of anything. I cleaned it up so it's not sharp. And when we paint everything, you won't even notice it. Um, so this is what I was talking about. Be careful. Uh, you can see I went too deep when I was no drilling it out. So, there also. But it's not gonna affect anything. I mean, if you wanted, you could weld it back over it and grind it flat, but it's not enough to cause integrity. So now, We went with uh, Hawksport because, well, you know, they're the best, in my opinion. And you got the dual height. We will be running it higher because he's going to, you know, be bashing it rally. So you get two bolts. They have these nifty bolt holes. And you line it up. Just like that, 
Um, we will need to put the motor back in here before we fully weld this just to make sure that it's not crooked or anything like that. But right now, I am going to take fancy dancy, sharpie, mark where it sits. Um, you do not need to fully weld this in. Uh, I don't know if I am or not. I may stitch weld it a little more than it needs to be because, uh, you know, Jason's going to abuse this thing, so we want it on there. The reason I marked it out is so I can pull it off and I know where I have to grind because I'm going to have to stitch weld those areas. So that's what I'm going to do now. And that's what it'll look like when you put it on to weld it. Um, we have to go buy some weld through primer and a can of paint to match the engine bay so we can and everything all snazzy so now we need to remove the stock traction bar slash cross member get all the plastics out and get all the mounts in so we can uh, place the motor in so we can tack this motor mount in place and then I gotta take the motor back out clean everything paint it and uh, then we can put it back in for good All right, guys. Um, we got the old cross member out, the uh, traction bar. Jason got the exhaust out and the old shift linkage. So we've got the new mount bolted with the two bolts against the uh, frame rail. So now we got to put the other mounts in to set the motor in there and uh, tack weld it in place. We are going with, I think I've said it before, but focus we're going to the port for their bolts there was a ton of them i didn't know which one went where there was different length but i kind of sort of figured it out there were four of these little guys right here they were all trying to figure out how to mount that these were for the rear uh, bracket the that rear bracket they all use the same pitch and they're all can't figure it out uh, static's helping me out thank you dana All right, guys, so that's going to be the end of this video. We got the motor in. Guys, but if you want to see more on the F and Rally car, we got many things to do. So please hit that like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to grow it to 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Um, yeah, see you guys on the next one. Deuces.